So I was on airport standby. It was supposed to be from 6 to 11, but they called me around 1. We're going through irregular ops right now. There's been almost every flight out of Chicago has been delayed or canceled today because of weather. People from different like shifts of airport standby, we were all just like talking, talking about the weather, like, and then it was just quiet and then the phone went off in um, the lounge where you have to be for airport standby and everyone was just like, <gasps> It was honestly hilarious. I wish I recorded it because it was so like, it was so cinematic. Anyways, I'm sitting there, that call wasn't for me, but I'm looking at my phone and it says your flight is delayed two hours. And I was like, I don't have a flight. And I looked at my board and they put a flight and then the phone went off. So um, my flight was delayed two hours already from when I got the call. And I'm actually on the last day of the month. So I only, you only have to go into your other two days of reserve if you're used on the first day and they used me on the first day and it was a two-day trip that conflicted with a baltimore um reserve that i had picked up because you can pick up in other bases they ended up working my schedule so that it worked out really well though so it's okay so all i'm doing today is one leg to austin if it ever leaves right now it's just me and the b i think she's b she's either b or d but there's only the two of us on the aircraft right now. We don't have pilots, we don't have an A or a B or D. Only two flight attendants on here, so don't know where anyone else is. I'm where I'm supposed to be and we'll see what happens. Tomorrow, I'm just supposed to have a deadhead to Baltimore. I was supposed to work two legs, um, but then they saw that I had that Baltimore reserve, so um, they changed it to me just having that one deadhead to Baltimore tomorrow. But now we'll see if I even do that to see if we even leave this one. So, um, we're just kind of in limbo, so I'll be back. Y'all, it is 4.42 a.m. and I just got into my hotel room. Did you hear the words that just came out of mouth? It's 4... 42 y'all it was only one leg it was one good night good night well i will talk to y'all in the morning goodbye standby for 6 p.m. they called me around 1 30 p.m. to tell me that I had airport standby for 6 p.m. 6 to 11 and there was weather going on today like tornadoes and such at one point they told us to take shelter like it yeah like it was a lot going on weather wise very few flights went out today or came in to midway they called us around 9 30 um to work this two day that was already delayed by two hours it ended up being delayed by almost three hours by the time they were able to get all the passengers on board and the whole crew was there for this to be a two-day trip and i'm it's only two legs and i'm only working one of those two legs it was very eventful Anywho, we are in a new quarter. And so, um, like I said, today is April 1st. And so in the morning, I am going to get up and I'm gonna go work out. My lobby time isn't until 3.20, I think. As the beginning of the quarter and as something I've been saying I was gonna do since like December and I've been packing workout clothes and I have not been going to work out I will be very honest with you guys, but I do definitely want to be more consistent um, With my workouts again. I have a lot of goals that I want to accomplish this year and This quarter specifically I started breaking my goals down into quarters because I feel like they're a little bit more 
attainable that way and to achieve really big goals you have to break it down into smaller ones and so one of my goals is to be more consistent with working out and so I am going to start that today another one of my goals is to post more consistently <laughs> shocker so y'all tell me what y'all want to see if you like vlogs like this um of me showing y'all my day to day if you want more vlogs about training if you want vlogs about like tips or tutorials and if you do want those things what you want those things on um, I'm here for you. I'm here to help, you know, and entertain all at the same time. I really should be far more exhausted than I am right now. But the truth is, I'm such a night person. I've been doing PMs in so long. Y'all know I like AMs, especially being a commuter. So tomorrow, I just have a deadhead. Literally, that's it. One deadhead to Baltimore, and I'm dead heading to Baltimore instead of Chicago because I picked up a Baltimore reserve block. Um, I had a line for April. So here we have a rotating line. So one month you have a line and then the next month you're on reserve, which I'm okay with. This is my second line of the month because I had one in February of the year. It's my second line of the year. I usually give away my entire line and then I just pick up as I go throughout the rest of the month. We'll see what I pick up later in the month. Right now, all that's on my board is three reserve blocks. This is a PM1 that I picked up in Baltimore for tomorrow and they're actually deadheading me there to put me on track with my reserve block, which is actually pretty nice because I didn't know that they would do that, especially since it's something I picked up and not something they assigned. But I mean, they need me where they need me, right? <laughs> right. So I have another, I have one ready reserve block. And so ready reserve is when you're on for 24 hours. And then there's AM and PM when you're on for shorter periods. So clearly most people usually like AM or PM because there's a cutoff time. And that's all that I have on my board right now. I'll probably pick up some more stuff, but as you'll probably see, I haven't put up as many vlogs because I haven't been working as much, at least in this entity. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time for me to go to bed now. This is actually so nice. They still offered us a cookie. Lord knows I don't need two cookies. I just told y'all I'm going to go work out. But they gave us like a turkey sandwich, but it's like really fresh veggies in here. So that was really nice of them. I don't know how I did it, but I somehow finessed an overnight in base. It is truly the best thing that I could have ever done. So. <laughs> having my whole schedule changed and I no longer was deadheading to Baltimore I then changed it to deadhead to Nashville which is what the rest of my crew is doing anyway so it was nice to catch back up with them and then I had to work the flight Nashville to Chicago but the gag is how I finessed a um <laughs> a in-base overnight is because I have that Baltimore um reserve still right now so really it's like i'm i'm baltimore based for this reserve so they are deadheading me to baltimore tomorrow and who knows if they'll have me do anything else but right now all that's on my schedule is to deadhead there tomorrow and then i'll be done by like three o'clock i'm totally fine if they have me do something else though because i still have another day and so if they want to send me somewhere and put me in a hotel again that's great um so yeah that's commuter life for you i did such a fast quick change i didn't even show all the room because i just like tore it apart because i did a quick change so fast we probably got to the hotel at like 11 30 and the only restaurant around here and a hotel right next to me closed at midnight and so did a quick change ran over there so i could order some food i just got back into my room with my to-go order i'm about to sit down eat Maybe watch some Netflix. I don't know. Take a shower and go to sleep. I don't have a van until like 11.40 tomorrow. I'm going to try to wake up, go to the gym again. Y'all, I'm trying to be on it for real, for real. Lord knows I've been packing this clothes for so long. And yeah, and then we'll see what tomorrow brings. You got something real,